Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Come, let us give thanks to the Lord, for his great love is without end. Come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the Rock who saves us. Let us approach Him with praise and thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. Come, let us give thanks to the Lord for His great love is without end. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in His hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to Him, the dry land too, for it was formed by His hands. Come, let us give thanks to the Lord, for His great love is without end. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For He is our God and we are His people, the flocky shepherds. Come, let us give thanks to the Lord, for His great love is without end. Today listen to the voice of the Lord, do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness when at Meribah and Massa they challenged me and provoked me although they had seen all of my works. Come, let us give thanks to the Lord for his great love is without end. Forty years I endured that generation I said there are people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Come, let us give thanks to the Lord, for his great love is without end. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto. Sicut erat in principio et nunc et semper, et in saecula saeculorum. Amen. Come, let us give thanks to the Lord, for his great love is without end. Eternal glory of the sky, blessed hope of frail humanity, the Father, soul begotten one, yet born a spotless virgin son. Uplift us with thine arm of might, and let our hearts rise pure and bright, and ardent in God's praises pay the thanks we owe him every day. The day star's rays are glittering clear, and tell that day itself is near. The shadows of the night depart, thou holy light illume the heart. Within our senses ever dwell, and worldly darkness thence expel. Long as the days of life endure, preserve our souls devout and pure. The faith that first must be possessed, root deep within our inmost breast, and joyous hope in second place, then charity thy greatest grace. Sit Christe Rex Pissime, Tibi Patrique Gloria, Cum Spiritu Paracleto, in sempiterna secula. Amen. You alone have
have I grieved by my sin? Have pity on me, O Lord. Have mercy on me, God, in your kindness. In your compassion blot out my offense. O wash me more and more from my guilt and cleanse me from my sin. My offenses, truly I know them. My sin is always before me. Against you, you alone have I sinned. What is evil in your sight I have done? that you may be justified when you give sentence and be without reproach when you judge. O see, in guilt I was born, a sinner was I conceived. Indeed you love truth in the heart, Then in the secret of my heart teach me wisdom. O purify me, then I shall be clean. O wash me, I shall be whiter than snow. Make me hear rejoicing and gladness that the bones you have crushed may revive. From my sins turn away your face and blot out all my guilt. A pure heart create for me, O God. Put a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit. Give me again the joy of your help. With a spirit of fervor sustain me, that I may teach transgressors your ways and sinners may return to you. O rescue me, God, my helper, and my tongue shall ring out your goodness. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. For in sacrifice you take no delight, burnt offering from me you would refuse. My sacrifice a contrite spirit, a humbled contrite heart you will not spur. In your goodness show favor to Zion, rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will be pleased with lawful sacrifice, holocausts offered on your altar. Gloria Patria et Filio, et Spiritui Sancto, sicut erat in principio et nunc et semper, et in saecula saeculorum. Amen. You alone have I grieved by my sin. Have pity on me, O Lord. Truly we know our offenses, Lord, for we have sinned against you. Let my eyes stream with tears, day and night without rest, over the great destruction which overwhelms the virgin daughter of my people, over her incurable wound. If I walk out into the field, 
Look, though slain by the sword, if I enter the city, look, those consumed by hunger, even the prophet and the priest, forage in a land they know not. Have you cast Judah off completely? Is Zion loathsome to you? Why have you struck us a blow that cannot be healed? We wait for peace to no avail, for a time of healing, but terror comes instead. We recognize, O oh Lord, our wickedness, the guilt of our fathers, that we have sinned against you. For your name's sake, spurn us not, disgrace not the throne of your glory. Remember your covenant with us and break it not. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto. Sicut erat in principio et nunc et semper et in saecula saeculorum. Amen. Truly we know our offenses, Lord, for we have sinned against you. The Lord is God, we are his people, the flock he shepherds. Cry out with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before him singing for joy. Know that he, the Lord, is God. He made us, we belong to him. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Go within his gates giving thanks. Enter his courts with songs of praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. Indeed, how good is the Lord, eternal his merciful love. He is faithful from age to age. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto. Sicut erat in principio et nunc et semper, et in saecula saeculorum. Amen. The Lord is God, we are his people, the flock he shepherds. I willingly boast of my weakness, that the power of Christ may rest upon me. Therefore I am content with weakness, with mistreatment, with distress, with persecutions and difficulties for the sake of Christ. For when I am powerless, it is then that I am strong. At daybreak, be merciful to me. At daybreak, be merciful to me. Make known to me the path that I must walk. Be merciful to me. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto. At daybreak, be merciful to me. The Lord has come to his people and set them free. Benedictus Dominus Deus Israel 
Quia visitavit et fecit redemptionem plebisue, et ei rexit cornus salutis nobis, in domo David pueri sui, sicut locutus est pero sanctorum, quia seculo sunt profetarum meus, salutem ex inimicis nostri, Et de manu omnium cui oderunt nos, ad faciendam misericordiam cum patribus nostris, et memorari testamenti sui sancti, iusurandum corura vita d'Abraham patrem nostrum, Saturum se nobis, ut sine timore de manu inimicorum liberati, serviamus ili in sanctitate et justitia coram ipso, omnibus diebus nostri. Et tu puer profeta altissimi vocaberis, preibis enem ante faciem domini parare vias eus, ad dandam scienciam salutis plebi eus, in remissionem peccatorum eorum, Per viscera misericordiae Dei nostri, in cuibus visitavit nos oriens exalto, illuminare is qui in tenebris et in umbra mortis setet, ad dirigendos pedes nostros in viam paci. Gloria, Patri et Filio, et Spiritui Sancto, sicut erat in principio et nunc et semper, et in secula seculorum. Amen. The Lord has come to his people, and set them free. Raising our eyes to Christ, who was born and died and rose again for his people, let us cry out, Save those you have redeemed by your blood, Lord. Blessed are you, Jesus, Redeemer of mankind. You did not hesitate to undergo your passion and death to redeem us by your precious blood. You promised that you would provide living water, the fountain of eternal life. Pour forth your Spirit upon all men. You send disciples to preach the gospel to all nations. Help them to extend the victory of your cross. You have given the sick and the suffering a share in your cross. Give them patience and strength. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Father all-powerful, let your radiance dawn in our lives, that we may walk in the light of your law, with you as our leader. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Dominus nos benedicat, et abomni malo defendat, 
et ad vitam per ducat eternam. Amen. Stabat mater dolorosa, iuxta crucem lacrimosa, dum pendebat filius, cuius animam cementem, contristatam et dolentem, per transivit gladius. Thank you for joining us in prayer. This episode was brought to you by Word on Fire. The Word on Fire Liturgy of the Hours makes praying simple and straightforward. With monthly booklets shipped right to your door that include the full morning, evening, and night prayers for each day, Word on Fire has removed the complications of praying the hours. No more page flipping or getting distracted while praying with your phone. Just pick up your monthly booklet and pray in peace. Subscribe today and get your first monthly booklet free when you join the Word on Fire 30-Day Prayer Challenge. Get your Word on Fire Liturgy of the Hours book at wordonfire.org slash singthehours.